Hi, I'm Andrea Howard, a postdoctoral fellow in the Medical and Public Health Microbiology program here at the University of Rochester Medical Center. I will be your tour guide in this video, and on behalf of Dr. Dwight Hardy, our laboratory director, and our laboratory staff, welcome to UR Medicine's Clinical Microbiology Laboratory. This lab tour video will highlight diagnostic testing that is performed in a clinical microbiology laboratory. Clinical microbiology laboratories play an important role in patient care by detecting, isolating, and identifying microorganisms that cause infections. The field of clinical microbiology is multifaceted and multidisciplinary. Here at UR Medicine, we perform bacteriology, immunology, mycobacteriology, mycology, parasitology, serology, and virology testing to assist clinicians in the diagnosis and management of patients with infectious diseases and immunological disorders. The process of identifying infectious organisms begins with a sample from a patient being received in the laboratory. This is our specimen receiving area, where specimens are received from various hospitals and affiliates that use our services, are logged into our laboratory information system, and are sorted by sample type for the respective lab benches to perform diagnostic testing. This is the specimen setup and stat test area. A stat test is a test with a quick turnaround time, generally less than one hour, as results are needed urgently for patient care. In this area, some of the tests we perform include rapid antigen detection assays for malaria, legionella, and streptococcus pneumonia. Here we observe a technologist performing a lateral flow assay to detect Clostridioides difficile in a patient's stool. In the STAT lab, we also perform rapid PCR using the Cepheid system. This detects nucleic acid targets for bacterial and viral pathogens, including Mycobacteria tuberculosis, Staph aureus, Strep pyogenes, COVID, flu, and RSV, as well as detects markers for antibiotic resistance, including methicillin-resistant Staph aureus, rifampin-resistant tuberculosis, and carbapenem-resistant enterobacteriales. Here, a technologist is setting up a swab to detect Staph aureus colonization in a patient. The PCR reaction is contained within the test cartridge. Once the patient sample is added, the cartridge is loaded onto the machine. The Cepheid system is an on-demand, random access system that allows multiple tests to be run at the same time as needed, providing rapid results. In our bacteriology lab, we utilize the Keystra Automated Microbiology System. This system automates traditional microbiology, which is the growing of bacteria out on petri dishes, and the steps that used to be done manually specimen processing and culture inoculation can now be done automatically by these machines. Specimens are processed step by step from inoculation of auger plates to colony isolation to incubation and transferred throughout the system by conveyor belt. High volume samples such as urines, bloods, and e-swabs are completely processed by the Keystra. Here we observe a urine specimen being set up for culture. Specimens and auger plates are barcoded so they can be tracked throughout the system. First, the specimen is scanned for the selection of the appropriate auger plate for growth, then vortex, and the aliquot is removed for inoculation onto the auger plate. The machine adds magnetic beads to the plate to allow for a standardized culture inoculation. We can see here the magnetic beads streaking culture inoculum across the auger plate to allow for growth of isolated colonies. Other specimen types are set up semi-automatically. Various auger plates may be used to optimize growth of the potential pathogens within the sample. Each auger plate contains the nutrients that different bacteria need to grow, and the type of nutrient auger that the specimen is cultured on depends on the body site that the specimen is collected from. Here we observe a technologist inoculating various patient samples onto auger plates. Along the Keystra work line, we have reader and worker benches. Technologists at the reader benches evaluate the growth of microorganisms on auger plates following overnight incubation. Technologists can look at plates and determine by colony morphology if it is something that would normally grow from the particular body site or if it's something that requires further workup, something we may need to identify as a cause of infection in a patient. Technologists at worker benches will perform workup of suspicious colonies. For bacterial identification, the isolated colony is transferred to a target plate and identified by mass spectrometry. The mass spec process develops a protein profile of the isolated colony. This profile is then matched against a reference database to allow identification of the bacteria species. 
Antimicrobial susceptibility testing, or AST, is performed to guide clinicians in choosing the right antibiotic for a particular infection. This test provides information about the efficiency of antimicrobial agents in treating bacterial and fungal infections. We perform AST on gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria using the automated Phoenix AST system. Panels, which contain various antimicrobial agents, are inoculated with a standardized inoculum of an organism and incubated in the instrument to detect bacterial growth in the presence of antibiotics. In the MIC's lab, we perform manual AST methods, including broth microdilution and distiffusion assays. These assays are performed on organisms where automated panels are not available, such as yeast, mycobacteria, and anaerobes, or for certain drug-bug combinations as requested by physicians. Here, a technologist is reading a broth microdilution plate and recording the MIC, the lowest concentration of the antibiotic that inhibits bacterial growth, to determine the sensitivity of the bacteria isolate to a particular antibiotic. Antimicrobial susceptibility testing is one of the ways the clinical microbiology lab plays a critical role in patient care. AST results are used to develop antibiograms which summarize susceptibility patterns of common isolates within a particular hospital and contributes to antimicrobial stewardship initiatives. We process stool specimens for the detection of gastrointestinal pathogens using the BDMAX system. This multiplex PCR system can detect and differentiate between viral, bacterial, and parasitic causes of infectious diarrhea. This test allows for rapid diagnosis of infections caused by bacteria including Salmonella, Shigella, and Campylobacter, viruses including norovirus, adenovirus, and astrovirus, and parasites including Giardia, Cryptosporidium, and Entamoeba histolytica. In certain cases, stool specimens are submitted to parasitology for ova and parasite examination, which includes stool concentration and microscopic examination of iodine stain wet moths and trichrome stains for eggs, worms, and larvae. Certain infectious diseases and autoimmune diseases are diagnosed using serological and immunological methods. Blood and serum samples are processed for detection of antibodies or antigens to particular pathogens. The Architect system, an automated immunoassay analyzer, is used to detect antibodies to syphilis, hepatitis A, B, and C viruses, and antigen detection of hepatitis B virus. This instrument is also used for fourth generation HIV testing, a combination antibody and antigen assay that allows for early detection of HIV infection. One of the high volume tests performed in our laboratory is allergy testing, which is done using the FADIA immunocap assay. This assay detects and quantifies IgE antibody levels in patient serum to specific allergens, including grass, nuts, dust, insects, and venom. The BioPlex instrument is used for diagnosis of autoimmune diseases. This multiplex immunoassay processes serum samples to detect biomarkers for diseases such as lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and celiac disease. Viral loads for HIV, hepatitis B, and EBV can be measured in patient serum using the COBOS 8800 to monitor the response to antiviral therapy. In microbacteriology, we process patient samples for culture-based detection of microbacteria, including microbacterium tuberculosis. A blood sample can also be used to diagnose TB infection via the quantiferin assay, which detects immune responses to TB-specific antigens. STI testing is performed on the panther system. Urine specimens, vaginal, rectal, and throat swabs are processed for nucleic acid detection of sexually transmitted pathogens, including gonorrhea, chlamydia, trichomonas vaginalis, and mycoplasm genitalium. In mycology, patient samples are processed for detection of fungal infections caused by yeast and molds. Here, a technologist is performing a tape prep to identify mold from a nail specimen. Molds are identified macroscopically by color and appearance of growth on auger plates and by microscopic examination of fungal structures. We perform COVID-19 testing using the Amplitude system. This is an automated, high-throughput, molecular diagnostic system in which up to 376 samples can be processed per batch, which takes about three hours. The system utilizes two modules for specimen processing. First, samples are transferred from tubes to plates by a liquid handler system. 
Then, by use of a robot arm, the plates containing patient specimens are processed for RNA extraction and PCR analysis to detect gene targets of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The professional career fields that make up the laboratory staff include technicians with two-year associate degrees, technologists with four-year bachelor degrees, and doctoral level directors with specific postdoctoral training. Clinical microbiologists also serve as educators and consultants. Our technologists train medical technology students, postdoctoral fellows, and pathology residents as part of their clinical microbiology rotations. This bench level training is essential for preparing medical technologists, doctoral level clinicians, and scientists to join clinical microbiology and public health labs in the future.